having. I see electricity availability in the orange zone. I could build an advanced wind turbine, but that is pretty expensive. I don't have much of a choice. I'm really low on money now. Hey guys, welcome to Unmodded Gaming. I'm the Unmodded Gamer, and after last week's episode, I found out that I forgot to save the game. So now we're back with a medium demand for commercial zones and a low demand for residential zones instead of a high demand what we had first. But that doesn't really matter because this was all a mess. It was messy, but I cleaned it up. So now I think it looks much nicer. So instead of having my water and sewage go into the same, uh, well, lake, I have now made. Um, well, this highway, first of all, but second of all, I have also made um, like the sewage line go all the way there, and the same for electricity. As you can see, but after what I did, I wasn't quite finished yet. And by the way, instead of making uh, commercial zones here, I made residential zones, high density residential zones. And the train station is there. So what I wanted to do today Hold on, it says we don't have any more station uh, money for a cargo train terminal. I don't know if I should be worried about that or about running out of money, but it doesn't look like it. But anyway, what I was about to say is that I wasn't really finished with that because I wanted to add some more train tracks. Right, I got some train tracks here. I can make like they can either go left or right there. And I'm also going to build a um, a bridge. If I can write. Maybe one more like that. One more train station 
which I'm going to put right here. And now I see oh, I've made a mistake. Is. I can't really see much of what I'm doing, but I can definitely tell that So this is quite... Um, or this is getting full. The whole area. And then like that. Okay. So we made that happen. And now that's... People should be able to go every direction, right? Like from that way to that way and back. And now that I um, I'm done with this. Ooh, this cost me quite a bit of money as well, I see now, but... Okay, I'm gonna have to plan carefully now, because... I am actually... I do have a very high demand for residential zones. So... a four-lane road down right here. Or so I thought. Oh! That's the power line. Okay. Running out of electricity, it looks like. Well, I'll just do some high density residential zones around here. And then I'll look into the electricity problem that we are having. 
having. I see electricity availability in the orange zone. I could build an advanced wind turbine, but that is pretty expensive. I don't have much of a choice. I'm really low on money now. Okay. So now, what I wanted to look into as well was the garbage um, incineration plant that I built two episodes ago. I didn't have time to look into that in the in that episode, but I built a garbage incineration plant. Right, it's there under garbage. And that should produce yeah, as you can see power output 12 megawatts per hour I'm guessing and um, well, I can use that for or to make more electricity but I don't know if it is actually doing that or not wow okay so that's um, one power plant I put in is just was only just enough to get it by. We produce 206 megawatts an hour, and we consume 191 megawatts an hour. Now I do have money for one more power plant, but before I look into that. I'm going to get some sewage pipes in here. Space already occupied. Oh, right. Um, okay, right, right that. Okay, we've still got $20,000 left. And we are getting more money. So what I can now do is I can cut down some of these power lines because as you can see right here it is a whole area here that is all um, that is all connected to the electricity net or the electricity well just the electricity so that means that um, this wall is unnecessary I'll try to destroy it, but it's difficult to select. See if th this is still connected. Okay. And right, I got some money again. So I have something to play with here. I can't build a big hospital. I can't build a big fire department or a police station, but I don't really need to. I think if I put a um, one like that, I'm going to be fine. I'm gonna be fine. The same goes for the 
fire station probably one right there and I'm fine and a police station I don't know if that is really necessary because it's there's a low crime rate but yeah I am going to put in one anyway because it's Wow, that has cost me a lot of money, but I am uh, happy I did that because you know, the police cars don't have to go all the way out the city, over the highway. They can just get to wherever it is they need to go when it's down there. Now, I am really sh um, low on money, but I do have some good uh, tax income. So this is what I was afraid of when I started this let's play of City Skylines run out of money or that there would be a huge traffic jam early on there's a new piece of land up for purchase but I'm not going to do that because I like I said I'm very low on money let me see if there's something I can do about that yes I can I don't know why I did that, but there isn't. Hang on, let me just... What if I just put a traffic sign in there? Because now I make no stop, and it's backing up all the way. Right. Well, at least that doesn't cost me much money, if any. Also have almost twenty thousand dollars. So I think I'm gonna be fine. There. So. Beautiful Edge City. Always improving, always growing. And one thing that helps out a lot in the terms of tax that I collect is that I have some forestry industry over here, which means that my companies who use, well, any type of chopped wood, for example, they don't have to get it from outside the city anymore. They can just get it from here. Which means that I get more taxes. And of course, other cities send people to get some wood over here, which also give me more taxes and I don't have to pay as much taxes for the wood that I import right so we have a very high demand for residential zones again well hold on crowded in here but I'm going to fulfill those needs anyway and I'll just run another water line through this
We are getting some pretty high buildings. And we also have over 11,000 people living in Edge City. Making more than $7,000 per week. By the way, I haven't seen any trains as of yet. Which kind of surprises me. And we can mark train station to accept another set intercity trains. Intercity trains will not stop at the station but will continue through if not accepted. By default stations accept all trains. Now I know that but what I actually wanted to look into was Oh, here's a train. Okay. So we now have two stations that both um, accept intercity trains. But I, what I actually wanted to do is to go to transport again and create a train line and I was considering uh, to not accept intercity trains in either of those stations but I'm not quite sure um, what or which of the two stations yet maybe I'll leave that up to the next or for the next episode for me to decide that but in the meantime I'm going to say subscribe and press the bell button if you want to watch more videos and stay up to date with when I upload new videos this was the Gunmod of Gamer thanks for watching and stay on